All right, we're going to do a little bit of gaming on the new Inspiron gaming desktop. So I was able to put the scaling up higher. And I was turning, I put all this stuff on high to see how it played. And I started turning it down to see if it made any difference. So uh, it just turned things up a little high, medium on a couple things. 200% there. So it made everything look really nice. So let's just drive it in and I'm driving this little truck it's a pretty neat little truck and I just flew over this bridge and I started exploring so we're just gonna drive around this little truck here and I wanted to go over here and check this out I think I can get to the water down over here. Let's see what's in these boats. I think it'll go right through the boat. Yeah. And down there, I went around the corner. Then it gets kind of weird. So. And there's another boat uh, over here. But this is a pretty neat little truck. And I had to hop the motor up just a little bit. I hopped it up a little bit to be able to pull those uh, heavy loads. And you see I'm at 60 frames a second and this is with the scaling and settings a lot higher so everything looks a lot better and if you notice all the money that I have it's because I changed the price on that uh, other truck and then I traded it in <laughs> so that's an easy way to make some money is to just change the price on the truck and then trade it in on a newer truck. Okay, let's go back and get this uh... Okay, I think I'm stuck. Let's see if we can uh... get this little truck I can find my way back. I don't even know where I am now. Oh, it's over there. <clears throat> okay. I get over here. So on the other side of that wall. See if we can pull this thing across. Uh... That river and get around the other side. I 
I might have to go at a different incline here. Okay, let's see if we can get around here. Truck, you can do it. I knew he could do it. down there
Okay, I don't know how to get out of here. That goes nowhere. We might have to just go to the other side. Let's just try this. Oh. Let's just go down. Maybe we can get up on this other side. Just fallen into hyperspace. Look at that, I get up to about 360, 300 something miles an hour. Okay, I guess we're going to have to just, uh, because that'll just sit there and destroy itself. Pay to get out of here. I got plenty, plenty of money. I bought all the shops. I think there was all the shops on the map. But this is a neat little truck. So let's uh, finish this delivery. They got the lights on? I could show the lights on. I don't really understand these lights. Let's see. That's on. Okay, and that's high beam. So what is this first one? That's weird. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, the graphics look a lot better, and it, it, uh, plays a lot better. So let's just go. And you see how much better it looks. And 56, 55 frames a second. This is what on high. It was way up there in 100 something with the settings I had it on last time. I just started raising them up to see how uh, it would look and played. You know, and so I started lowering, lowering them to get the frames per second up a little bit in like city areas you know so I think this looks pretty good the way it is set and 
little truck is a neat little truck. Oh! Watch my steering wheel. I guess this is the lights, this is the lights on. I don't know what the first click is. And then, this is high beam, I guess. Put on cruise. This truck ain't, ain't as fast. Uh, I just, you know, bumped up the engine a little bit because these heavy loads. Uh, you know, I didn't do anything crazy like I did on the other ones. And then I got a 16-speed transmission on it. And... Oh, God. But it is this little truck is pretty neat. Oh, I can't see my gas gauge. That's the oh dummy. The uh, steering wheel is in the way. I don't know why they put it so far down there. There is a gas gauge on it, but. If you notice when I turn, you can see the gas gauge. And it will get going, you know, 120, 130 miles an hour. really a uh, bouncy ride. I guess shocks are not too good on it. But it handles good and you can pull these loads. So goes right along. Hundred miles an hour, cruising right along. Let's see, where's the rest stop so I can bring it to daylight? Should be one coming up soon. All over the road.
uh, put the uh, change the price on that uh, that other what was that thing called the Osh Kosh or something I changed it to a hundred something million and it gave me a trade in value about 70 million <laughs> and then I started buying all the shops and a bunch of other trucks and I got all the shops that I could buy I think I got them all and hired all the workers and bought, bought a bunch of trucks so I make all that money back while they're working and I think there is a rest stop up here yeah I think that's one up here let's go ahead and get this thing in daylight see how it looks get it in the morning here. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Turn my headlights off. Alright, so let's uh back on the road here drive like that and keep it straight but it looks pretty good look at the graphics look at 60 frames running smooth a little bit higher graphics got the grass detail up Sky, you know, everything is uh, set higher so it looks better. Let's just get some gas up here because it's easy.
Pretty neat truck though. Chimeron. this transmission doesn't shift down lower. We play chicken. Ship. They did a good job unlike those other ones they got things not right about it this one's pretty good everything seems to work on it doesn't have any hang-ups all the gauges look good except for the gas gauge you know the gas gauge you see it turn the steering wheel and you see the gas gauge kind of gets hidden under the steering wheel 
and you can't move the steering wheel. Uh, the adjustments don't let you move the steering wheel. But it has wheel options, motor options, transmission options, all the fun stuff. Your wipers work. graphics look a lot better and it running really smooth uh, didn't look bad to me hopefully the video will come out good I think I put it on all in the same settings up there 107 miles an hour out right there. It makes the game when you can't really haul get to 180 it really makes the game long oh no almost went off the bridge and I'm stuck I guess I have to pay to get out of this. Let me just show you the options on this truck. And I guess I'm going to wrap this video up here if I've been getting too long. Oh, let's see. I can go right there. Uh, okay, let's see. Enter. So it's a pretty neat little truck. You got uh, four, six by four, four by two, you know, chassis. Or a longer one. And engines, bunch of different engines. 730 horsepower, 400, you know. This is the one I, I picked. I, I just picked it because, I don't know. And just changed the 
newton meter thing up to about 8,000 just to give it a little bit more pep and then it's got all kind of transmissions to pick through 14 speed 9 speed 16 speed interior settings and all that good stuff interior looks really nice I mean it's good detailed little truck they did a good job on it of course different colors and uh, different wheels let's see I think it came with well those are tires of course let's look at the tires and I think it came with these rusted wheels and you can select different ones there and add things to the interior different decals and stuff you know so pretty cool uh, little truck and that's the way I got it configured right here painted it orange put those tires on it and it works pretty good so yeah so i guess i'm gonna wrap this up here don't want to make this video too much longer pretty neat little truck i'll put the link for this uh little truck in the description below if you play this game you can check it out all right i'm gonna wrap it up here i'm out <laughs>